Vanakam to everybody. Honorable Chief Minister uh, Thiru Stalin, Honorable Union Minister Piyush Goelji, Officers, Honorable Industries Minister Thiru Raja, Officers of the Government of Tamil Nadu, other ministers in the audience, members from the industries, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I would like to congratulate Government of uh, Tamil Nadu for another successful effort under the leadership of uh, Thiru Stalin at attracting enormous investment in the state of uh, Tamil Nadu. It is an honor for me to be here at this third edition of uh, Tamil Nadu's Global Investors Meet. Tamil Nadu has been a pioneer in the development of industries and continues to provide a ripe ecosystem that nurtures entrepreneurship and innovation at its core. Its economic growth across sectors, especially automobiles, components, fertilizers, sugar, textiles, and IT, has helped position India as a front runner on the global map. Tamil Nadu is home to highest number of factories in India, 39,000 factories, which is 17% of India. It is a top automobile manufacturing hub globally, producing one car every 20 seconds. If we look back over two decades, Tamil Nadu has held its position as one of the most preferred investment destinations in India. As a result of government's robust financial, sustainable and inclusive growth mantra. As a result, Tamil Nadu state has become the second largest economy in India with a GDP of over $300 billion, literacy rate of 80%, highest per capita income, which is twice of average of India at $4,000, and highest number of operational SCZs, uh, which of course enables the export from the state, and highest portion of wind, which is 34%, one third of India's total wind generation is happening in Tamil Nadu. But all this is evidently not enough, and Thiru Stalin wants to take this state even further to US dollar one trillion. And we just unveiled, Honorable Chief Minister just unveiled the, the book on uh, how, how this state is going to become a trillion dollar economy. I believe that this ambitious target will be well achieved. And, and let me tell you why. Because of Tamil Nadu's robust policy framework, exceptional skilled workforce, and world-class infrastructure, and reliable and renewable power supply. While Tamil Nadu is the auto hub of India, it is also expanding into electronics, into agri-products, textile, and defense sectors, each one of which is witnessing immense growth from a policy and market demand perspective. With a growing number of research and development centers in the state, Tamil Nadu is establishing a platform to achieve Jai San Anusandhan, a force multiplier for India's growth. Another important thing is that Tamil Nadu is the first state in India to formulate its own artificial intelligence, AI policy, a wave that is going to impact every industry and facet of our lives in the years to come. In, it is such factors that position Tamil Nadu amongst the top investment destinations in this country. But Tamil Nadu did not become India's favorite destination overnight and neither by fluke. It took a bold vision coupled with immense dedication from political leaders and bureaucrats to bring about this ecosystem and sustain its growth. Across decades, there has been consistency in the governance and unwavering support for industries, irrespective of changes in the political leadership. And this is what I find to be the most unique trait of doing business in Tamil Nadu. As I speak of my interest and passion for the state, let me tell you how deeply I believe in the political system that exists here. JSW Steel has a steel plant in Salem, which was acquired in 2005. At that time, it was a small steel plant of 300,000 ton capacity. Over time, this has become a million ton, one million ton steel plant, especially, very, especially producing very special steel products, which are the 
most value-added steel products in India, out of which 50% gets exported. So we produce steel in Tamil Nadu, which goes all over the world for very high specialized application. To this accord, I must highlight that our experience of starting up and running an industry here has been seamless and lucrative. We have not lost a single mandate of operations at our plant due to supply chain disruptions or labor or utility issues, a testament to the pro-business environment that exists here in Tamil Nadu. On another, another front, JSW Energy has invested over 9,000 crore rupees in renewable energy projects out of the 1,310 megawatt that we committed 350 megawatt has already been commissioned, and that balance will be commissioned by the June of this year. As a group, we have so far invested over 15,000 crore rupees in the state of Tamil Nadu. And I plan to double that investment over the next few years and propose to invest further in a 1,000 megawatt of pump storage project and a 1,000 megawatt of wind power energy. India's total power generation capacity at 426 gigawatt, of which RE today is only 31%. And we need to grow this uh, capacity as India's demand for energy grows. This is where the state of Tamil Nadu will continue to play a significant role. Tamil Nadu was the first mover in developing and installing wind power four decades ago and continues to drive India closer to its renewable energy goals. The state has unique advantage as Tamil Nadu has two wind seasons a year. And of the 38 gigawatt of installed generation capacity, 19 gigawatt is renewable energy. And Honorable Chief Minister plans to double the capacity by adding 33 gigawatt by 2030 of renewable energy. I can assure that it is not where we stop. Tamil Nadu has vast. Uh, renewable energy potential of 120 gigawatt, and I'm sure that state will not leave any stone unturned to fully uh, take advantage of this potential. India is already witnessing supply side constraints that are overpowering demand. With this idle combination of policies, people, and passion, I believe that we can seize an enormous phase of growth. On that note, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our astute leadership for inviting me to be here with you today. Thank you. Jai Hind.